You know, I haven't made a blog in a long time. Um, the reason why is I never really had a lot to, to speak about. Um, you know, right now I'm preparing for uh, to go out to St. John's next week to uh, to go to CEW to ring announce once again. Uh, Tommy Dream is going to be there, but you know, usually now my YouTube videos where I used to do rants and everything, I think I'm going to switch that around to my motivational speaking. Um, I recently saw on uh, YouTube uh, down in uh, uh, a, a city down in the United States called Dunkirk. There is a 37 year old man by the name of Mikey, they call him. He has uh, Tourette syndrome and he's afraid of animals. And he's beat himself so severely that in his right eye, his uh, right eye, he beat himself because of uncontrollable hitting, because of bullies, and you know he's he's blind in, a, in his uh, right eye. I say, yeah, right eye. And um, you know this was uh, how why he was doing this was because he was an easy target for these people. Kids, high school kids, high school dropouts, the typical scum. These two guys by the name of Cologne and and um... Budson, we just want to talk to you about the cat. Budson, that was his name. They followed Mike while he's riding his bicycle. This is what this man does. I look at him and I see me because I was and still am in the same position he is. All I do is say hi to people, try to be nice, try to be a good person, go to work in the morning, come home where it's safe. And sometimes, even to this day, I still get people driving by like they did to Mikey and you know, throw a water bottle, yell at me, curse at me make fun of me and try to humiliate me or scare me that's why I don't drive it's not because of my disability I don't drive I don't drive because I'm scared to they've made me scared to drive now I don't ride a bicycle all over town I walk the reason why I walk is because I think it gives me more freedom to enjoy the air to just get out and a car won't do that for me plus I'm scared to because of the way people drive in this town. Mikey has gone through it all. These two guys call him the cat man, curse at him. They posted on their Twitter after being reported on that this video that they posted on YouTube of them hunting him down, cornering him, scaring him, making fun of him, calling him cat man, they said that's going to make him famous. I don't know about you, but there's a crime that when you follow somebody, it's called stalking. When you follow them and make fun of them and taunt them and not leave them alone, it's called harassment. These people, I look at Mikey who has Tourette's, no teeth, and he's blind in his eye because he beat himself because uncontrollably because of these people and I look at them and I, and I look at them and I see everybody that's done wrong to me over the years I look at Mikey and I see me I look into a mirror and I see me he and I are made out of the same cloth we don't want to be feared we don't want to be hated last night I was talking to someone on Facebook Messenger. I'm not going to mention her name. But I pleaded with her, why is it she fears me and hates me? And her response was showing me a picture of the Ku Klux Klan. She compared me to the Ku Klux Klan. And I think everybody who does this kind of thing behind a car gets behind the wheel of a car and hunts people down and makes one of them and follows them. Just to let you know, you're facing harassment and you're facing stalking. Two very serious crimes.
I hope everybody who watches this video realizes that these two now, because of the Dunkirk police and the Dunkirk public, and on the news, these two, these filth, these filthy mongrels, are now being charged with the fullest extent of the law. This is not going to happen anymore. You're going to be in charge of the fullest extent of the law. Up here in Newfoundland, there was a girl who lured a young disabled guy, physically disabled, not mentally disabled, physically disabled, into the woods where he was savagely beaten. He went into a store to get help. His face was a wash of blood. And now, this girl that lured him, she's facing criminal charges. And she's going to go to jail. Let everybody realize that bullying is not going to be tolerated. I was a victim. I was a perpetrator. But I've seen the error of my ways. And I tried to better myself to be a better human being. Despite the people that hurt me. To Mikey, ride your bike with freedom because two guys that harassed you, they're going to have some friends in jail that they're going to have to talk to, if you know what I mean. I'm Travis Walsh, and that's the way it is.